Yep, it's that uh, cold, windy time of the year here in New Zealand and Auckland. I'm down at Takapuna Beach and just completing the morning ritual. So I've been uh, for a bit of a run with the dog, a bit of a run walk actually, it's a bit of walking evolve up the steep hills. And now I'm about to finish it with some cold water. So it's really that time of the year when it's getting cold enough, you jump in, the physiology of upgrading your brain happens. So let's get into it. So uh, what, what I like to do sometimes is just get a bit more of the CO2 tolerance. So I just ended up going underwater and just swimming along and do a few frog strokes. So I started off with about five, I can do about 10 or 15 now. So you ready? Here we go. The CO2 tolerance is just this idea that a bit more CO2 in the blood fills up the acidity, which sort of sounds bad, but actually through this war effects helps the oxygen let go from the hemoglobin to the cell a bit more easily. So you really end up uh, sort of paradoxically oxygening yourself a bit, a bit better. So just get used to that little feeling of holding your breath and that sort of stuff, a bit more stress. Or ice cream heat actually today as well, Frank. That's quite cold. Do you imagine one day seeing more people doing this stuff, or is it an uphill battle at the moment? Oh, no, I think this is getting really popular. I mean, you, you see the sort of we're going to do something about our mental health, um, and this is a great way to do it. And it's a surprisingly good thing, it's a little bit of discomfort actually makes you a lot more comfortable about being a human, which is the great irony of it all, isn't it? That getting out and being uncomfortable helps you feel better, not worse.